so one of the problems that we run into a lot when we're dealing with uh, functions is this thing known as scope of our variables. The entire purpose of scope is that basically if we created a variable inside of a function, say for example j, j only exists in our case method 1. That's the only place it's going to exist. Let's take a look at that distance uh, function we developed again. So if we take a look at that, I've got three variables I'm working with, x, y, and dist. Now, like I mentioned, if I pretty much run that code and I don't have that return statement, x, y, dist, they don't exist anymore. Just to show that off again, dist doesn't exist. Even if I, oh, you're saying it's because I haven't called distance before. Well, boom, okay, well then dist is, no, I don't have dist. Dist only existed for that brief moment in time where I needed to do a calculation and now it's gone. So what happens if, say for example, I start to design out more complex uh, equations. What if I wanted to uh, define whether or not uh, something was uh, within a circle? All right, well, in a circle, I only know sort of a single point, so an x and a y. Is this within a circle of a specific radius, assuming the radius uh, starts from 0, 0? Well, my distance, dist, is going to equal distance from x, y, 0, 0, 0, 0 being the origin, uh, for example. And I know my radius. Well, in my case, return whether or not dist is less than radius. Well, just on that note, this dist right here is not the same as this dist. This is where scope kind of gets a little uh, fun and confusing for some people. This variable is not the same as this variable whatsoever. I run this. And I say in a circle is 5, 5. In the circle, uh, that is a radius 10. True. But I don't have to say distance. I could say any variable. And as long as I make a reference, I'm going to leave that as dist there. Uh, we run our code, yes. Again, you see the error. Dist doesn't exist. Dist only exists here. It doesn't exist in circle. Circle is a completely different method entirely from distance. So now with the scope, can I sort of establish where a variable exists, where it belongs, and kind of its life cycle? 